We have Burlington, TJ Maxx, and Five Below. We're gonna go inside and see what we can find in all three places. Stop, look, a pink stitch. That is so cute. This is cute. That is cute. We have black. Pink's my thing. Cute pink wallet. Oh, we have a juicy. Would this go with this? <gasps> Look at that together. Okay, we might have to get that. Makeup bags, slim pickings. This one's kind of cute. They always have a lot of Hello Kitty mugs, but I'm totally over buying mugs right now. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my God, they have so much. Oh my God, look at this one, Avelina. Shot glasses. Glassware. Strawberry. She is cutie patootie. $12.99. $12.99. That's cute. Oh my God, stop, stop, stop. I'm getting these. I'm getting these. I'm getting these. The Halloween. The Halloween. Pink. Okay, we have a Betsy that's cute. Securing the bag. Thank you. You too. The fact that I, thank you. The fact that I didn't buy the backpack and the wallet and the stitch blanket is a huge win for me. All I got were these pillows. Now let's go into TJ Maxx. This is the purse that I'm going to be packing. It is a denim Juicy Couture backpack. This is what it looks like when you open the bag. Now let me show you how I packed it. The first thing we need to do is pick a wallet. These are all of my Loungefly wallets. I have mostly Sanrio, but a couple of Disney. I did recently get this Sanrio wallet. What I love about this wallet so much is that it opens up like a filing system. I have a lot of credit cards. So in general, I am super excited to see how it looks, how it feels, if I like it. Oh my God, she's so freaking cute paired together. Every purse, I need a receipt pouch. Wow, that was really embarrassing. In every single purse, I need a receipt pouch. A receipt pouch, it's a little pouch that is thin and like envelope-ish. And anytime you get any sort of paper in your purse, instead of throwing it in the purse, you throw it in the receipt pouch. You can also throw little things in here. Like sometimes if I have a necklace that I took off or a ring, I'll throw it in here. It's a little catch-all bag. And it really comes in handy if you're an organized person like myself. I love that I'm going with a Hello Kitty theme. I have this drawer, this drawer, and this drawer filled with makeup bags. I actually have these two that I got on Amazon. They're giving coquette, they're giving girly, they're giving pink. They love things that are small and teeny tiny. One bag is going to be for all things beauty. And then this second bag is going to be like a catch-all. We have the bag picked out, we have the wallet picked out, we have the receipt pouch picked out, and we have the two cosmetic bags picked out. Let's pack the little bags. I didn't go shopping for 17 days. I was trying to make it an entire month, but I failed and i went to tj maxx ross no i didn't go to ross i don't know why i said that i went to tj maxx home goods tj maxx again and i need to show you everything that i got because i'm thinking of returning most of it but i want to go through it and show you guys what i'm gonna keep and what i'm gonna return this is half of it the other half is in my car this is the bag that started it all. I went to Ross and I saw this bag and I was like, oh my God, I need it. And then I just kind of spiraled and kept going. So I know some of these things I don't want to keep. Like this, this is really cute. There's sprinkles in it, but it's blue. Like I don't need this. This is getting returned. I have this giant gummy bear box. All the returns are going to go in there. I got a notebook, which I feel like you can never have too many notebooks. Keep. These I saw because I never see Hello Kitty towels at my TG Maxx, but these ones, she's sitting on books. And like, that's not really my vibe. So I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to return these because, yeah, like I feel like if I got ones with like strawberries or hearts or something, I would like it. But those I'm not in love with, so I'm going to return them. In case you are wondering, I spent $166.84 on this trip. I got these really cute nails. These I'm going to keep. Okay, these 
I think I'm going to keep. These are super cute. You can keep them on the counter and they are hand painted measuring cups that are Disney keep. This I actually really needed. I don't have a garlic pressure or pressure, press, press, gosh, why can't I talk? I don't have one of these, so I'm going to keep it. Thinking about it, I think I'm going to return this. I already have enough notebooks. I'm going to return this candle. I don't even know why I got this candle. I have about 10 different candles that are just like this that I've never used or lit. So I'm going to return that. I think I just got it because it's pink. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love Mimic. I never have seen their hair and body oil and it's pink. So I'm going to keep this. Okay, this little pink thing. This thing is cute. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know what I would put in it. I don't know where it would go. And it's kind of basic. If I'm being honest, I don't know why about that. I'm returning. The Lord baby Jesus knows I don't need another bag. I literally have this entire bin thing in my garage filled with bags and I honestly thought this was like $5.99 but it was $9.99 and although it's cute I don't need it so I'm returning it okay I'm returning one two three four five six items from that shopping trip and I am keeping one two three four okay I get it now I get why these shorts have gone viral so many times finally got my hands on them they snatch me but at the same time, they're like a very stretchy, comfortable fabric. It covers my whole butt. Mm -hmm. There's these under shorts for like comfort and protection for moments like this when you're bending over. There's also a pocket back here or a runner. I'm for sure gonna order them in every single color and I'll have an outfit to wear every single day, no matter what color I wear. They are this summer short. It's the short this Throw on some sneakers and a cute purse. You could be comfy and cute at the same time. Come shopping with me at Walmart. Today I went to Walmart and I went there for one thing and one thing only. I've been eating true fruit like no one's business. And it's kind of embarrassing, but also at the same time, I don't really care because it's fruit covered in chocolate. That's way better than having like chocolate over chocolate or just like plain chocolate, you know? Anyways, I had to stock up. I grabbed six bags because I feel like six is a good number to have stocked in my fridge. And then I went looking for cutesy stuff and I found two pink squishmallows. I found a Hello Kitty, a sleeping Hello Kitty. I also found the Karomi and they're like that Sherpa-y material. But when I was going to the checkout, I stopped in the little kid's bedding section and I found a Hello Kitty pillow that I literally could not leave without. So I got that instead. I also got a Celsius and my total was $77. I decided on July 1st that I wasn't going to shop for 30 days. One, I wanted to see if I could do it. I knew it was going to be a challenge for me because I am a shopping account. Halloween decor just came out in most of the stores and I love Halloween. And most of the people that I follow on Instagram our shopping account so I knew it was gonna be challenging but I also knew that I could do it it is July 16th and I decided to go shopping today I didn't last 30 days but I don't look at it like that it's not like I didn't last it's like I decided after 16 days holy shit balls I was shopping so much I was jumping on every trend I was wanting every item that I was just buying so much shit and it was like I was reckless shopping and I feel like so many of us do that and when I really took a step back for 15 days and didn't shop I was seeing everywhere like all the new stuff and all the stuff that I would have purchased and yeah I was like oh my god it's cute but like I can live without it and one thing that I noticed like even more is if you wait to purchase something after the hype and you still really really want it then it means it's meant to be. And then if you're like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't buy that because it's been two weeks and I don't even care about it anymore. You know what I mean? Anyways, if you're a shopping account, I challenge you to not shop for 30 days. I didn't make it 30 days. I made it 16. But the experiment, everything just, it was good. It was good. It was good.